Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your website using an all-in-one plugin called WP Optimize. So WP Optimize is one of the most popular speed optimization plugins in WordPress and it's a, it's an all-in-one optimization plugin that cleans your database, it compresses images, minifies .jscss and HTML, serves cache and a lot more. Today I'm going to show you how you can use this awesome plugin and get the most of that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go to plugins and add new. We're going to install the plugin and search for WP Optimize. We can click on activate or install now if you've never had it before and we're going to go to the bottom and it will come up on the left hand side over here we're going to click on on it and that's going to take us into our settings so once we're in our settings Oh, sorry, it's the wrong one. Let me just go to WP Optimize over here. So it's going to start off. It's, uh, so this plugin first actually started as a uh, database cleanup tool, um, but it added on new features and functionality to make it a, a all-in-one. So some optimizations that it starts off with is you can optimize all your database tables um, if you do do this um, i would suggest first taking a backup with updraft or uh, whichever other backup uh, software tool that you use before doing this because it will change the databases and then you can run the, all the selected optimizations and that will optimize all your database tables um, the next thing we're going to want to go through is we can click on images on the side and so this is an amazing feature where you can actually compress uh, all your images on your website it does this for you automatically you don't need to do it separately outside your uh, website so it will call an API and it will uh, I think it's SEMrush or something and then it will um, optimize all your images for you to in improve your performance so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to click on automatically compress newly added images so whatever images we add to our website that will automatically be compressed to the best size for performance so you can also choose the size that you want um, you can choose for a better quality or for better compression I like to leave it in the middle to get the best of both worlds um, if you come to the bottom over here, it will show you that all these images can be compressed and to do that all you need to do is select all and you can click on compress the selected images. Um, I'll show you what that's about. You just click on that and it will connect to the server and it will um, it will compress all your images for you automatically and it will tell you exactly how many images it compressed and what the, the savings in terms of size was for all of that um, it will give you the, and how long it will take it will generally take about five, 5 minutes depending on how many images you have that needs to be compressed and then obviously once that's done um, the other setting that you enabled we had added we had compresses newly uh, added images automatically that uh, will will add, will save or compress all your images uh, every time you add a new image to your website okay so it completed a total of 94 images and four images could not be compressed um, it took about 12 minutes and I saved about 15 megabytes so that's a huge number uh, which will obviously help in the speed of the website 
and closed. Um, so we just have that on there. Okay, um, there is a premium version um, if you want to upgrade your plan and that will give you access to more features. So the next thing we're going to go to is cache. And the first thing we're going to want to do is enable page caching. Um, that's going to help store those files and increase the speed of our website. Um, if you have a responsive website or if you don't have a responsive website you'd want to click on generate separate, separate files for mobile devices. Um, you can also serve cache pages to logged in users if you want. Um, I'm going to leave it uh, on that. That's fine for me and then I'm going to click on change, uh, save changes. So the 24 hours is generally a good amount and I'm just going to click on save changes. You can go through the the, the following tabs, um, preload now, action will trigger, WP opt cache the site by visiting pages to preload, we can run that. And then once that is done we can select activate scheduled cache preloading and we can select the schedule I'm gonna leave it on same as cache lifespan which was 24 hours and click on save changes you go to advanced settings um, this is fine we can carry on to gzip compression and we want to enable gzip compression for the website it's gonna lead to smaller file sizes and faster loading of our website. We click on static file headers. I'm going to leave that for now um, and that's fine. Actually I'm just going to enable that as well. The next thing to go to is Minify. So we're going to want to enable Minify and it's fine. Go to JavaScript. I will click on defer all JavaScript files and I'll click on save settings. Can go to CSS and that's fine. You can click on save settings. Go to fonts. We can click select do not load Google fonts and the rest is fine on default. You can click on save settings and go to settings. The default looks fine. You can click on save settings. Preload. We already ran that. That's fine. Advanced cache lifespan 30 days you can change that if you want but the rest is fine and we can click on save settings if we just go to settings over here I think that that's fine that should be fine um, yeah I think that's that's it that's all the settings we need to change if you guys found this video helpful please like and subscribe to the channel thanks cheers bye